Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldyworm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldyworm4975 and today we are back in the Crew 2. Today we're going to be having a look at one of the brand new vehicles that released in the summertime in Hollywood DLC. We're going to be having a look at the Volkswagen Campervan. Uh, but as you may have noticed, we now have, well... The face cam has returned. We did we did used to have a face cam, believe it or not, um, but it didn't really work out, so I only had it for a few videos. Uh, but those of you who uh, may have seen my unboxing video of my brand new camera will know that I've got a brand new camera and a tripod, so it makes having a face cam like this a lot easier. So hopefully from now on, most videos will have a face cam for you, so you can look at all of my nose hairs while we play whatever game we're playing so today we're back in the crew 2 and um we're going to be checking out one of the brand new vehicles so let's go ahead and scroll over to the catalog and if we scroll down to volkswagen the other day when we had a look at this there was only three volkswagens there is now six and here they all are so we've got the volkswagen beetle 1967 volkswagen beetle We've also got the, I don't know how you pronounce that, the Kahaki edition, I think that's how you say it. Um, it's kind of like a tuna, hippie surfer, resto mod kind of look. It looks absolutely awesome. Um, we'll definitely be checking that out in a future episode, but unfortunately I can't afford that one today. So we're going to leave that one for now. Um, the Golf, I don't believe, is new. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it could be a new vehicle. And today we're going to be checking out this, the Volkswagen Combi 21 Window Bus. It's been a long time since I've bought a vehicle in this game, I'd just like to point that out. Um, let's select that, and we've got loads of different colours that we can actually go and check this thing out in. So we've got this, like, maroony red colour. Uh, like a dark red looks really nice we've got a lighter red we've got like a halfway between orange and red i'm gonna call it like rusty red that looks really nice uh, we have the orange right there looks really classic really nice the yellow that looks really good actually i do like the yellow we've got green which is probably what we're going to be going for let's face it We've got dark green, which also looks really nice. We've got light blue, we've got dark blue, we've got another lighter blue, uh, we've got brown, I guess you'd call that chocolatey brown, um, we've got beige, we've got grey, we've got dark grey, that actually looks really cool, and we've got black. They look all really cool. I'm not usually a fan of like beige or brown vehicles, but because this is like a classic vehicle, it actually does work. Um, so I think we're going to go for the lime green, just because I know Moldy Worm Gaming, we're green. Why would we not have a green vehicle? Um, so let's go ahead and buy that. We can't change any of the rims up, but honestly, I don't really want to change them because they look fantastic. Um, we also got another star which is always nice so we've now purchased the combi 21 window bus so let's jump over to the uh to the house now and customize the thing okay so here we go we're in the um in the house out we've got the bus in here let's go ahead and customize the thing we've got loads of things that we can actually change on this obviously we've just done the color so we're not going to do that we might see if we can find a nice racing livery or something i don't know what style we're going for with this thing um but i'm just going to see where the customization takes us obviously we've got vanity items I don't really like the vanity items, I'm not into coloured tyre smoke or anything like that, the fancy horns, all of them things, they don't really appeal to me, um, so we're probably not going to be changing that up, we've got all the standard horns right there, but I don't own any of the other vanity items, so let's jump into the visual stuff, we've got the front bumper to start with, um, okay, so this is the standard one here we can get this like weird bug-eyed looking one uh, we can get with a, a chrome delete I guess you'd call that 
um, we can have one that removes the uh, the little overriders down there at the bottom uh, we can have a bug out bug eyed version of that and a dechrome version we can have a chrome overrider which actually looks really nice and um, we can have that in the bug eyed and the dechrome we can have just a clean front bumper I'd guess you'd call that painted front bumper in the chrome bug eyed and in the dechrome we can have just a simple chrome bumper looks really nice and we've got those in the other styles and we can also have um, I'd like to be able to zoom out a bit further um, I guess you'd call that like a race splitter so if you're going for like a racing version um, and you can get that in the bug eyed version and the dechrome so I don't really know what to go for with this I'm not a huge fan of that massive overrider there it looks a little bit weird I'm not going to lie and I don't like the bug eyed version or the dechrome I, I like the chrome you guys might not agree with me but classic cars with a bit of chrome on look really good uh, so I'm not really sure I I don't really like the this massive overrider either that looks a little bit weird um, okay so I think I'm gonna go for like a resto mod build with this one so I actually quite like this one here and I'm gonna go for that with the the chrome headlights and I did just notice it has a little spotlight there down at the left as well so that looks really nice let's chuck that on the front fender you can actually I guess you'd call that a wide body um, you can get like weird looking fenders and can I also just point out how tiny the tires are on this vehicle they're absolutely well I was gonna say absolutely massive no they're absolutely tiny they're really small um, but that just looks a bit weird so I'm not going to do that the rims um, so these are the stock rims um, I don't know what rims are going to suit this thing on honestly right so I've had a little scroll through and the best ones I can find are these ones they're, they're kind of like um, uh, 69 charger wheels um, I guess that's what they're kind of based off uh, but they actually look pretty good on the vehicle uh, we can obviously like black it out completely but uh, then there's really no point in having a wheel like that um, so I'm just gonna keep it like that we can't actually change the size of it which is a bit of a shame um, but anyway that's the rims the caliper color I guess we're gonna keep this thing green so I can't even see the caliper so let's skip that one the side mirrors which are absolutely massive at the moment uh, we can get these like nicer little ones right there or we can get these weird like slanted ones uh, they look a little bit funky uh, but the big ones are a bit too big for my liking I like these just smaller little round ones they look really good uh, the skirts we can actually get a couple of skirts so we can get a side step there and we can get a painted side so how is that different from okay so the standard has the exhaust there out the side and it has that little chrome strip and that one just adds like a simple skirt I guess if we're going for a resto mod build that looks quite good the rear fender we can obviously have that weird wide body look we can actually get it really really wide that looks kind of weird looks a bit like a tractor now but um, yeah I don't really like that so I'm gonna leave it off we do have a couple of wings on this thing um, so you can have like a weird I don't even know what to call that I guess you'd call it a lip spoiler um, you can have like a drag wing my boat is in the way so I can't really show you that very well um, <laughs> you can have like a proper race wing you can have like another table tray drag wing or you can have that simple I guess that's another drag wing um, uh, I kind of want to put a wing on because I mean we're going for that resto mod build I think it would look quite good with a with a wing how does that look now um, 
I'm not entirely convinced. Um, I actually think maybe that one is the best one. Because I do like how it, it kind of matches the paintwork. Uh, that's what I like about that one. But it's not really high enough. How about that one? Mm, that one I just don't like. Or that one. That one honestly looks the best, but it's a shame we can't get it in white. If that was white, that would look really cool. Um, I'm going to go for this one. Those of you in the comment section telling me right now that I am a ricer. Yeah, I am a little bit of a ricer. I'll give you that one. Um, on the rear bumpers, we've got the classic white one with the overriders there. I don't know if it's going to change the mud guards, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, so it's going to change the lights. So we've got this one with the vented rear and the small lights, and we've got the blacked out lights. And then we've got a classic one there with the removed overriders, and we've obviously got that in the vented and the blackout. We've got the chrome with overriders in the vented and the blackout. We've got the green one, so they're all very similar to the uh, front. Uh, one thing to note, it does change the exhaust as well. Uh, so let's just go back, just just go back. So it does change the mud guards. You can see on the left side there, the exhaust is just a little exhaust. If we go to the next one, we've got like this weird tuna side exit one. Looks a little bit funky. Um, then we've got the like titanium tip race exhaust. That looks quite cool. Uh, so then we've got the painted rear bumper with that single middle tuner exhaust um, the next one we've got a side exit exhaust it's kind of like on the uh, Volkswagen like a uh, beetle the uh, the dune buggy beetles they kind of had an exhaust like that and just with a classic clean chrome bumper we've obviously got that in the different variants we can have the completely removed bumper with the weird funnel exhaust and we've got that in different options um that exhaust sticks out a little bit too far for me i, I like the removed bumper look but the exhaust yeah don't really like that um i think maybe that one hmm let's have a look at how does that look because that one matches the front and that's what we've got to bear in mind i like that except the exhaust if we could get that middle exit exhaust on that bumper that would look a lot better it's a shame that we can't get those different options but i'm gonna go with that one because it honestly looks the best on the interior we've got all the usual interior customization obviously red's not gonna work with this um so i don't know what we want to go for what's the stock black like um i think we'll go for dark gray and i quite like the dark look we can't change that and we can't change the interior insert but that is the vehicle all customized so let's jump in the vehicle let's go and do a race actually in this thing because something to bear in mind is the fact that this is actually um in the street class so it is a it is a street vehicle um, it's been a while since I played this so just need to get the uh, camera angle correct it sounds absolutely fantastic it does sound exactly like an old Volkswagen um, I don't know how I feel about that rear wing I think that might have been a bit of a mistake and we do actually have knots on this thing which is hilarious um, let's go for an interior view. What's the interior look like? Very old Volkswagen-y interior. I like it a lot. We've got the classic Speedo down there, which I can't show you fully. Um, it's not the fastest vehicle in this game. Let's just, let's just point that out, but that is not the purpose of this vehicle. This is a cruising um, vehicle that you take to car shows and other things like that it's absolutely awesome it's got loads of cool customization i really like this thing 
um, but it is in the street class so let's see how we perform in a race right so here we are at the race this is the very first race that I think you actually compete in in the game this is the sleeper and I should just mention I have just gone in and upgraded this thing so it is considerably faster than it was just a minute ago um, but let's just go ahead and skip that let's see how the Volkswagen campervan performs it looks absolutely fantastic and uh, hopefully um, hopefully we should have no issues winning this race um, the turning yeah that is something to get used to the it, well it doesn't have any turning I'll just put it out to you like that um, but it does have a lot of speed in the straight so yeah understeer is a bit like a pig but let's see how it performs in the air not too bad the extreme gravity is a little bit annoying they still haven't fixed that um, which is a bit of a shame I'm not gonna lie but this thing is absolutely flying away and yeah just whack the front of it it looks a little bit sad now and here we go coming up to the finish line we're 23 seconds ahead we had absolutely no issues winning that race although I did just smash it into a container at the very end there we get 15 grand for that and we are we gonna level up not quite uh, but we did get some awesome new performance parts that is all very lovely but there we have it guys that is going to do it for today's video having a brief look at the brand new volkswagen combi 21 window van it's an absolutely awesome vehicle i've really enjoyed customizing it and checking this vehicle out we're going to be checking out all of the brand new vehicles as they release i'd really want to get my hands on the volkswagen beetle so if that's something that you're interested in watching then make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel we're going to be checking those out very soon um, but I hope you have enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video